Good evening and welcome to our Tuesday night reflection. Before we get into that, I just have an important announcement about a new prayer initiative here in Coop. We're setting up a WhatsApp broadcast group. And if you want to be part of it, just contact me and make sure my number is in your contacts list. Then whenever we get prayer requests, I'll be able to send those to you. It's not a group that chats one with the other, but it's directed through me and I'll be sending out those prayer requests. Prayer is important all the time, but I think we're much more aware of how important it is right now. So please join our WhatsApp broadcast group for prayer. On Monday evening, we looked at a story Jesus told that got the leaders of the nation hot and bothered and riled and angry. He told them the parable of the tenants in the vineyard who refused to pay what was their due. And no matter who came from the owner, they sent them away or killed them and eventually killed his son. Tonight, we look at another incident that happened that week. When Jesus continued to teach in the temple, and not all the leaders of the nation were so opposed to Jesus. And this is the story of, of one man, we don't know his name. He was an important man, but he asked Jesus a most important question. You'll find it in chapter 12 of Mark's Gospel, at verse 28. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one and there is no other but him. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding and with all your strength and to love your neighbour as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And from then on, no one dared ask him any more questions. This man asked Jesus the best question ever, and he got the best answer ever. Of all the commandments, what is the most important? And at the heart of it, Jesus said love. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength and to love your neighbour as yourself. And this teacher of the law got it. He understood it. He understood that when God changes your heart, it overflows with love, not only for him, but for those around you. They are both sides of the one coin. You can't love God and hate your neighbour. If you love God, you love your neighbour. And you love that neighbour sacrificially with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. I've been phoning around many of our older members in the congregation in recent days. And one of the most heartening things they said is that the love that has been shown to them and the practical love that has been offered to them from their neighbours Maybe younger families in their street that they've never really talked to before have slipped a note through the door and said, 
if you need any groceries, if you need anything from the chemist, just ring this number. Showing practical love in times of difficulty. Just to know that someone is thinking about you is really, really important. You know, some people are all show. They do the right things, or supposedly so, to be shown to be doing the right things. They love the praise of others. But truly to love God, to love your neighbour, means you're not in it for yourself. You're in it to please him, to love him. And to love your neighbour as yourself. Let us pray. Eternal God, our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for these wonderful words that Jesus used from the Old Testament. Because you are the God who loves us with all your heart. And so we are to love you with all our heart. And we are to show that love to those around us. Not for what we get out of it in return, but just because you first loved us. Father, later on this week we will recount the love that took Jesus to the cross. And the price that he paid for us. Accept our thanks and our gratitude and to know that he truly loved us so much means that we too must love one another. May that love be evident, especially in such a season as this. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen.